So if stimulus control means getting in and out of bed throughout the night, how is this going to lead to more sleep? Let's cover that in today's video. Hi, I'm Martin Reed from insomniacoach.com and I help people with insomnia improve their sleep so they can live happier, healthier lives. So one of the core components of stimulus control is you get out of bed whenever you can't sleep. This way you create an association between the bed and sleep instead of the bed and wakefulness. So the way you implement this is if you get into bed and you can't fall asleep within around half an hour or you feel really alert and you just know you're not going to sleep, then you get out of bed for around half an hour or until you feel sleepy again and then you get back into bed and you repeat the process. So when you first implement stimulus control, it can mean getting in and out of bed like a human yo-yo all night long and the first few nights it may lead to minimal amounts of sleep. But in the short term, this is actually its intention because it's making sure that you're not in bed when you're awake. Over time, the more often you do this and the more consistently you implement this technique, the more sleep pressure and sleep drive will build and this will eventually force you to sleep when you're in bed. And as soon as you start to spend more time asleep in bed, you will start to associate the bed with sleep rather than wakefulness. So over time, this turns the bed into a long-term trigger for sleep. It's a very hard technique to implement. That's why it can be a really good idea to have a lot of support, um, a lot of guidance, and even someone just looking over your shoulder uh, just to keep you honest, like a sleep coach like myself perhaps, or just a spouse or another family member that can just make sure that you're really sticking to these techniques. So if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. I share a new two minute sleep snippet video every weekday. If you have any questions, concerns or feedback, or if there's anything you'd like me to cover in a future video, please leave a comment below or email me at hello at insomniacoach.com. And I hope to see you back here again soon.